In this mechanism, we're going to look at what happens when our alkene is asymmetric. So if we try and draw a line of symmetry there, you can see that it is asymmetric, not a symmetric molecule. So if we're going to react it with hydrogen bromide, we need to decide to which of these two carbons does the hydrogen atom eventually attach itself onto. Again, we'll represent the dipole and the hydrogen bromide as delta plus, delta minus, which gets greater as the hydrogen bromide molecule approaches that double bond. A pair of electrons will move from the double bond onto the electrophile, this hydrogen here. And therefore, again, this bond will break and the pair of electrons will move onto the bromine atom. Now we're going to form a carbocation and we've got two possible scenarios. A positive charge could end up on carbon number one in our molecule of propene or on carbon two. So let's look at the first scenario if the hydrogen attaches itself to this carbon here. If the, carbon attaches its, if the hydrogen attaches itself to carbon number one, I'll represent that with the green hydrogen atom here from the hydrogen bromide, then this carbon number two is left with the positive charge. And this is called a secondary carbocation. And there's only one thing left for the bromide ion to do. Remember, it's got a negative charge because it's taken one more electron with it that belongs to this bond here. And therefore, the lone pair will attack this carbon here, a nucleophilic attack. And therefore, we'll end up with a molecule of 2-bromopropane, with the bromine being on carbon number 2. So, that is one possible scenario. The second possible scenario is that the hydrogen could attach itself to carbon number two and the bromine will go onto carbon number one. And that would go via a primary carbocation. So we could have this scenario here, which results in two bromopropane. Or we could have a second scenario in which the hydrogen will attach itself to carbon number two. And that would go via a secondary carbo a primary carbocation. So let's now look at the possible primary carbocation that's formed. So this time the hydrogen from the hydrogen bromide attaches itself to this carbon here, resulting in a primary carbocation here. And the bromine has no option, the bromide ion has no option but to attach itself to carbon number one, resulting in one bromopropane. Studies have shown that, in fact, most of the molecules, 90% of the molecules form product is 2-bromopropane, as opposed to 1-bromopropane. So that tells us that the secondary carbocation intermediate, and I'm going to put that in square brackets to show it doesn't exist for very long, that the secondary carbocation must be the energetically more chemically stable. And the reason given for this is that this carbon with a positive charge can stabilize itself by the what's called the inductive effect and pair and electron density being pulled from the two methyl groups towards 
that positive charge, thus stabilizing it. The primary carbocation doesn't persist for as long, so this primary carbocation is not as stable, there's not as many of them about, because it's only got one alkyl group releasing electrons towards it. So secondary carbocations are much more stable. So the mechanism tends to proceed via a secondary carbocation rather than via a primary carbocation.